right, you guys, I'm doing a quick December for you. I know it's already damn near to the mid um, December because I've been working on a lot of things. If you guys have been following me, you know, I've been really uh, hands deep into my nonprofit organization that I'm getting together, as well as all of my different platforms and really the nonprofit as I have been. Um, I am the one of the web designers. Um, it's myself and, and the, one of the co-founders that we are web designing. So it's it's pretty cool. Um, but it has taken a lot of time um, to get it together in just getting things formatted and learning um, about that. So I'm going to do a real one. This won't have an extended um, because then uh, next week I want to spend more time on your 2023 previews. Um, so that's what I'm going to do. Do a quick one just to kind of tell you the energy of this month. No extended um, available, but I will uh, get into so that before January comes, you know what you're looking at for the first six months. Um, and I do this every year. So make sure you go back and watch so you could see how on point I was for your year. Um, and when things happen and it doesn't change, that means there was something that you didn't change, right? Um, because I don't like to predict, predict bad shit. But if it does come true, that means there's something that you did not change, okay? Um, so um, you guys just missed, uh, of course, the fundraiser. We will have another one for the nonprofit if you want to be one of the people who so generously donates over to there. If you're looking for healing, dealing with trauma, PTSD, um, if you've seen kind of the ad right before this one, hopefully you watched it. If you didn't, it's fine. Um, but if you're looking for re repeated patterns, depression, things like that, definitely come on over to Healing Beyond Humanity. Um, we most likely will be able to help you. So with that being said, there are also workshops coming up uh, for January, as well as uh, we do have classes that should be up and running by January. So, um, all right, let's get into it, you guys. All right, Gemini. All right, Gemini, let's see. How are you ending this year? How are you ending this year? Let's see the energy of ending, ending this year. How is Gemini ending year 2022? Boom. <laughs> All right, got some contemplation, letting go of pain, Ugh, but you're still worrying about stuff. Okay, well, at least you're not letting it uh, disable you to where you're not able to move forward. Um, but you've got a lot of impatience going on. Some of you are, are really worried on hearing from somebody. Um, this person means a lot to you. Some of you are very defensive. Um, uh, so... You, you know what you need to do, Gemini, but you're not doing it. You've been very stuck, very immobile. You're ending this year with a lot of worry, and that's what you need to let go of. You don't want to end this year worried about who's coming towards you or not having love or not saying sorry to someone that maybe you wanted to say sorry to. Um, some of you may be thinking of moving uh, to a different community, neighborhood, state, and I feel like you've probably gone back and forth about this. Yeah. Some of you may need to rekindle or at least fix a broken relationship with family or friends, wherever it is that you're trying to move, because it feels like that people need to agree and come together versus be, be apart. So it looks like that we need to talk about something. We need to fix something. We need to strengthen the community. And this could definitely be family. Okay. But there's an energy of that. You know what you need to do coming up. So do it. Yeah, like I said, it looks like by the end of the year, Gemini, you could be traveling, um, going to another place. I definitely feel like for some of you, it's out of state. It's definitely far um, away from you. Some of you guys, it could just be vacation. Um, some of you guys, it could just be seeing your family. But I think a lot of you guys are going to go to your family and know that there's some healing that needs to happen between you guys. There's something that occurs to you amongst your people that it's like, whoa, I didn't even realize that this was this huge family generational trauma that, that's been sitting here and the anxiety of coming here. Um, some of you maybe are, are waiting on an apology for someone, or maybe you need to apologize to someone. If you're the one who needs to apologize, just apologize, Gemini. Don't make it harder than what it needs to be. Yeah, a lot of you guys are feeling a loss um, at by the end of this year. This year, you're, you're definitely not in the best energy 
um, when it comes to the end of this year, Gemini. So be very careful how you want to bring in 2023. Don't walk into 2023 with a lot of these woes and heartbreak and pain and loss and lack. Figure out what is this poverty? Is it truly that you lack money? And if you do, what are ways that you can fix your situation? Do you lack love? Well, why do you lack love in your life? Because if you lack love in your life, you lack self-love. There's no way to love yourself and not have love in your life. So if you're lacking genuine love, compassion, companionship, it's because you're lacking it within and it's something that you need to work through. For some of you, you could just be tired of the hustle and bustle that you've needed to do and, and go through. Um, you know, some of you guys have had a long year, okay, and it's been rough. Um, I do feel like there are some there is some beauty within this, but some of you got to let your guard down. Um, some of you guys got to stop fighting for shit that's not working out for you. Some of you guys got to stop fighting for relationships that aren't working for you. Some of you guys got to stop putting yourself in drama situations. Spirit is saying, choose positivity. Stop choosing the negativity because the negativity only brings more negativity. And that's why there's a lack here. Eight of Pentacles in the reverse in this poverty card. You're in such a place of nothing, you're not going to, uh, no matter how hard you work, you're never going to get to that next level because you don't see it, you don't realize it anyway. So I would, I'm, uh, I'm going to definitely, of course, do your going into 2023, but with this energy, you definitely got to make some big changes before the end of the year because you don't want to start off a new year with this energy. It's like, leave this shit in 2022 and do not take it with you. I'm sending you so much love, Gemini. Um, and, um, so much love, so much light until next time. Bye.